Okay. Rochi go over here. And uh, actually, we need to kick a skirmisher here. Oh, no, no, no. Lambert, go away. Meave! So, we have one lock against someone who's probably going to spam uh, units that we need to lock. That's a little concerning. Uh, the mental aspect of poker is what gives uh, one edge. Um, I think that's uh, one of the earlier... Uh, well, one of the main situations I, I really wanted to uh, get a better grip of my mental game. Because it, it's, it's so crucial that you just don't lose your cool. You don't want to be like uh, a fuming bastard, just like doing nothing, it's like, I'm so mad. And the thing is, you might not even realize that you're mad, or emotionally compromised, whatever. You might be thinking like, you know, I still have my head in the game, but you're still thinking about your, like, one hand that that's no longer relevant, and, and you're th still thinking about that, like... You know, that game, that, that that's kind of bothering me. And that game doesn't matter anymore. But you're thinking about it. Uh, let's just go with the end crate guy. Let us put our steel to the test. Holy crap. You have my thanks. So it's pretty important to realize when you're tilting. I wouldn't really say tilting. I think that's like if you're tilting and you're just like, you know, you're like ready to punch the wall or something, then you're obviously like way past the point of uh, you fucked up. But if you're like not, if your head is not in the game, then as far as I can see, you're, you're tilting. Uh, at least when it comes to poker. All I care about is winning. You keep a notepad and record all the names of weak players in online poker. Uh, don't you use a heads-up display? That's what the the pros do it. And by pros, I mean like the the micro limit regulars, even. Yeah, I, I can't really lock anything here. I need to focus on the game a little bit. Can okay, I just go with Esco? This will be quick and painful. Uh, probably I won't be able to kill that, but we can uh, damage our lock. That's so damn annoying. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Yeah. What's next? I can hit that. <laughs> what am I gonna do here? You have a poker night every month where you live. It's brutal. We all play like monsters. Hmm. I don't know. Currently, I, I'm I'm kind of like uh, giving up hey, on online here. poker well. or just poker in general. Maybe I'm not really against <laughs> poker in general, but I don't know. I'll just go with that. But I'm definitely trying to be over online poker. At least I wasn't too happy when I was doing it. Well, that's gonna be brutal. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, 
Well, the freeze are gonna get hit. <sighs> Problem is, this is gonna get two charges, so even if I play Django Fred, that I really shouldn't. I'm getting punished super hard for sure. I can pass now. Let's say I pass. I don't know, this is annoying. Emotionally compromised, what a good term. Exactly that. Mess up people's minds so they make mistakes. Well, that... Hmm. It's important to realize that when you're, like, slipping. You're not slipping when you're, like, like full-on raging, but, like, when you're, like, not thinking about the current situation, but, like, the past situation or something else. Which is actually, uh... Can be quite common if you have other things uh, uh, that are bothering you in your life, or you're like me and your your head is like ten ways all the time. Yeah, that's gonna be probably... Well, not necessarily right away your pass, but that's probably gonna what's gonna... Yeah, that's happening. Pass! She has the complete opposite of my hero power. Online poker is all about me maxing, but in real life poker is a fine game. Great evening with friends. Hmm. Yeah, but online poker is like, wow, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, we can get some good cards. Damn. Okay, no burner. But we can start with the Scald. Oh yeah, we actually have more work as well. God damn it. The wide, sea, I Skirmisher goes away. He actually got burned now. Wow, that's awesome. Um, uh, I just enter. Online poker. I just play using an app. Don't really need to think. But in real life poker, it's so nuanced. Best card game, though. Well, it's a, it's a little different because if you're, especially if you're playing, well, you say you're like, you get together with, uh... Yeah, yeah, we, we got a lock for round three, that's gonna help. But, like, if you're playing with, like, those who are really into it, but if you're, like, playing with, like, friends and family, then, you know, you don't necessarily want to whip out your, your pro, pro poker knowledge. You whoop them big time. Even though you might just lose because <laughs> because RNG, so in a, in a short game it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna win. Actually, I ended up losing many times. Like this is but ma ma <laughs> this is like the correct play, but you know, but it wasn't. But apparently. So, you, you can't really, uh, well, we decide based on like 50 hands who's the best player. <laughs> oh no, that needs to die. Right now.
Wait, what? <laughs> um, uh, I guess I need to kill it. Yeah, let's just finish it off. We also have a... Uh... Okay, we're finishing it off. Well, I need to be careful, okay. I'll just Chiron X in the back. Kill that. Kill Harald's Paul. Done. If you want to play online poker to make money, then you need to be very good and have a serious bankroll. I don't agree with that. Uh, I didn't tell, tell, tell the story uh, before, but uh, once I actually won a free roll, that's how my poker career started. That I once won a free roll on a, a full tilt poker, I believe, at the time. And I think I won 8 cents. 8 cents. 0 0.8 cents. 0 0.8 dollar. And I took that 0 0.8 dollar. I got a little lucky at first because you, you could just get the super day lucky and just like lose it. Obviously that's no money. But I think I took that money. And... Uh, I don't really wanna... Well... And I didn't put in any money later. Uh, that was that was my entire bankroll to start out with. And it ended up playing... I, I'm not gonna say exactly how much I made, but I ended up playing uh, NL25, NL50 with it. So... And you need like, at least 20 buy-ins for that. So... You don't necessarily need to get a serious bankroll. Sometimes it just works out. Okay, that, that wasn't the best. You must be lucky. Um, that was a little lucky, but... Uh, ultimately, I just lost interest. I know that that story sounds kind of bullshit. I wouldn't believe it. Uh... Not really bragging about an ending. Oh, then after that, Full Tilt Poker decided uh, that uh, that closed down because of some shady stuff. So I didn't see my money for like few years uh, until Poker Stars actually bought it, and then I just took out my money and like fuck you guys. So ultimately, I wouldn't recommend it too much. If you want to be a serious online player, uh, player uh, poker player, you need to be playing 10 and 20 USD blinds. If you see it as a job, uh, that's actually not true. Uh, you can. Uh... We shall do it my way. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, you can... I don't know I don't know what we really classify as making a living. It definitely depends on the country uh, you're residing. But... Um, you don't need to be playing that limit. You can be playing... Again, it depends on what are we talking about. Calm yourself. And how much time you're willing to play. So, it kind of matters. I I'm not really gonna say anything, but... I think at NL25, and not, not talking about $25 blinds there, but like 25 cent blinds. I think there you can make a living if you're good, but... I That's not something I would recommend by any means, so... Uh, there you have it. This is clearly not what I would recommend. Okay, that needs to be finished off. Then we play the horn. And we can have like a 9 at least. We'll see. 
Unless you're Hungarian and the wages are lower. I think it was a cool experiment at the time, but not something that I really would recommend. Honestly, if I if I applied myself to something else at the time, especially because when I was doing this dumb online poker thing, I was actually uh well, in the university and and also was doing uh, computer science that I was somewhat neglecting, neglecting and uh, I think that would have worked out a little bit better than dicking around with poker even though uh, poker was uh, more satisfying in the that short run oh maybe we should lock that Wait, what? Lock on enemy unit? Fuck! I can just blow that up. He might have a way. He must have a way to blow that up. Does he have like a Hubert or something? Because I can just blow that up. Does he have a Hubert? I don't know. Oh, we gotta play melee. Fuck. What am I doing? So I'm hitting the enemy for sure, or unless I'm... I don't know. I think we are... we have to do this. Okay, let's do that. GG! Meave! Whatever you were planning, probably with Hubert. Well done. Okay. Oh, well, one X-Men has to go away for sure. Maybe this guy goes away? Okay. Guess we're going with that. Now, many years ago, I tried making money with online poker. I did the math and it worked out hey, listen here. about listen well. 9 USD an hour. Which was just not worth it. I'm not good enough to do better. Hmm. But 9 USD an hour. If you're being realistic with yourself. And and that, that's, that could be really good. For a lot of people that's just really good. Of course. Like that's not counting like benefits. You, you gotta like you pay, pay your own healthcare and stuff like that. But that can be included in a regular job. Uh, but if you're not, not in like a first world country, then that that could be like a, still a lot of money. Actually, we need to play with X Men Marauder. Okay. Of course the house always wins, but if there's a game that you want to have a job at its poker. My ultimately my biggest problem with it is that first playing it you had to be like a bot and and even as a person who is fairly well I, I like thinking and like figuring out stuff so I'm de not, definitely not as social as uh, some people out there. Even though I really enjoy this whole uh, performance part of streaming, I, I truly do. It was just not social enough for me, poker. They need us. What the hell is this shit? I could have locked it. Does it make sense to lock it? I think it might sense might make sense to lock it. That's why, that's kind of my problem a little bit with programming as well. Because I kind of like programming. I like programming more than I do uh, poker. It's more varied. But, like, it can be like a pretty Han Solo adventure. And uh, you're just doing your own thing. Not necessarily because you might have a like, team, but uh, 
Oh, I usually did have a, I, I didn't have a team, so... That's it. You studied computer science? I did. But I... But I can't really take too much credit for it. I didn't finish it. Uh, I probably should have been... Well, I could just say many things, but... The honest answer is... Actually, we probably should have blocked that. The honest answer is that... I, I, I was just probably not mature enough at the time to finish it sensibly. I did like it. I didn't have a, like, a really great experience with schools. Um, primary and secondary school was a bit like, you know, we don't give a fuck. You do whatever you want. It was a lot of, not as filled with ideology, but not ideology. Oh fuck. What is the word? Not 100% sure about the English word for it. Is it ideology? Ario's been chosen. The gods speak to him. No, no, no. Okay, whatever. Uh, of course, schools do have a, like a, a little bit of part in just like making you, um, I don't know, loyal to the country in a way. You just teach teach you a, a, a lot of stuff about, uh, like Hungary, for example. If you spend your time in Hungary, and of course, the problem is that. Uh, the classes are quite big, you know, all kinds of uh, students are like shoved in together and it kind of kind of kind of feels uh, like as a as a as a place where You know, you just like go and like uh, some some kids have to try harder than the others Ultimately it turned out to be a, a bit of a, a problem for me Why did he plug that? Uh, is that although I did struggle at, at times, but not so much, and uh, that turned out to be a bigger mistake. But the fact that I wasn't too challenged in school uh, turned out to be uh, something that didn't really encourage me to uh, up my discipline, and uh, and turned out to be a pretty big mistake. So that's something that I obviously had to put in time later. And even even right now, I'm mean, like, wow. I wouldn't really uh, brag about it. Uh, just recently, I actually had end up making a well, not too recently, but like few months few months ago, I ended up making a, a like a diary, not diary, like fuck. What is that? Calendar? Calendar, that's the one. Calendar, and just like, uh, kind of plan out my day just to, uh, try to keep myself more honest and more productive. Of course, it's quite important to have a unstructured time as well. Uh, that's, uh, very important. But it's also pretty important to just, like, get some stuff done and, and pr possibly, that's a pretty important part, that sometimes you just get good ideas and you need to write it down. Uh, at least, I sometimes do. That's it. GG! <laughs> what is happening here? Harald? What are we playing? Uh, X-Men? Mm, it would be nice to get Burna. I'm talking so much that I'm actually forgetting about the current game. <laughs> so... If we play here, we can get a card advantage. I usually don't go so deep uh, in my well, my conversation when I'm playing games because I kind of forget about playing the game. Okay, let's just play the Witchers. You hate programming? Fuck. So here in China, I do music production, which gets me on average about 20 USD an hour. That's pretty good. And it's a cheap country. No way I could ever make that money from poker. Also sounds like a fun way to make money. I know a guy who who likes music a lot, but he just likes to 
to do all his own music. He's he's a musician. He's not really uh, what you do. He's just a musician, and you know there are a lot of musicians, or at least he like I think he classifies himself as a musician. Like he's not too bad at what he does, but uh, I suppose a lot of people just have that like you know they are they are good but not great, and they they can't make a living out of it, and you know they just a a end up making some. Well, they just ha have to get by. Which is not great for him. Hey, <laughs> May Scald. Don't you pester me. Drop this guy. I used to be a network engineer. Wow, really? I still love networking. Keep my Cisco T qualification. Mm. Well, we managed to bait this guy. <laughs> GG! Apparently, gaining a card is a good thing. 